Hatfields, and McCoys, famous for their 150-year feud. Some say it's over a hog. I've been told it's over a woman. There was people killed for no reason at all. But can bad blood make good business? A global investor wants to find out. I care about the potential of a Hatfield and McCoy moonshine. The catch? They'll have to stop seeing red to start making green. Nothing was ever settled. Hatfields and McCoy's White Lightning. Series premiere Thursday, August 1st at 10, only on History. The Hatfield and McCoy feud it started with Roseanne and John C. Hatfield, and it bloomed from there. The story I think would be the most true is what my dad always told me, was after the Civil War, Devil Lance and Randall, there was a little bit of hard feelings in between the both of them was Confederates. Devil Lance gathered up all the guns, run off, left Randall. Randall ended up in prison for three years, and that's when it started. Then uh, when they come back, Randall's brother got killed. The McCoys always know that Devil Lance killed him, and they never could prove it. Well, you know, some say it's over a hog. I've always been told it's over, you know, a woman. Well, the true part about it, Roseanne got pregnant out of wedlock to John C. Hadfield. Back then, it was a cardinal sin. A lot of people say it goes back to timber rights and property rights. Nobody really knows how it started. It, it's just two stubborn men that had a disagreement and dragged their whole families down. The McCoys done all this. And I've always thought that, you know, I was raised up to it. It's been embedded in you. I think that there's distrust handed down through your, through your heritage. The feud was a, a lot that I guess shouldn't have went on. There was a lot of anger, a lot of fighting, a lot of killing. They told so many lies, they didn't know what the real story was. Later on in the years, I know, you know, Dev Wentz, you know, he changed his ways before he died. But the uh, sad part was, it didn't change our ways. Hey, you're a McCoy. I know you're damn I straight seen. I'm a McCoy and proud yeah. of it. You're you one of them thieving I... damn hat thieves. Well, possession is nine tenths of law. They have absolutely no idea what they're talking about and definitely unaware that the feud, it's over. Damn, Jeff, would you follow us up here? No, no, we never followed you, did we? What, wasn't that enough down there? Picking and thumping on each other, follow us up here? I thought I smelled a skunk, but it wasn't a skunk. <laughs> McCoy. It was a Hatfield. McCoy. I'd say the feud between Hatfield and McCoys is still alive. That bitch, because your fence is three inches, one too far away, or, you know, you mowed your grass or something. They continuously bring this up. They continuously harass us. And when you are harassed, you definitely are going to fight back. Uh, Hatfields are, they're people, and when they get they back. Nonsense, you know? People know it here better than anywhere and the legacy is a part of history. We can't change it. It'll be here till the day we die. I try to stress to my kids and teach them what it was like, you know, because if I want them to carry out their name the rest of their life, you know, and keep it down, because it'll fade out.